Hello. Hello. I have Abby here with me, and we are here to talk more about leaves. We have so much to talk about leaves. Uh, we're not going to talk all of the rest of the things about leaves. We're just going to talk about a new little bit because I want to save more fun for another day, too. <laughs> so today, we're talking more about the leaf. We've talked a lot about the function of the leaf, the work that it does. We talked about how leaves are the food factory of the plant. Uh, what other functions do leaves do? Catch the sunlight. <laughs> they gather the sunlight. They do. They also breathe in carbon dioxide, CO2, and they breathe out oxygen, oxygen O2. And in the, with their little mouth, their stomata, they also let off water. And we saw those experiments in other videos that leaves do an amazing amount of work. We also talked back in the food factor of the leaf that leaves get their color by the compounds or chemicals that are inside the leaves, inside them, inside the cells of the leaves. And so the green color in leaves is given to it by the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll gives leaves their green appearance. And there's other chemical co um, components to leaves that give them other colors. The carotenoids give them the orange and reds and the anthocyanins give them purples and browns. And so it's kind of cool to see this leaf here has some other colors than just green in it. Abby picked these, um, this is a peace lily leaf and this is a coleus leaf. And this was the first coleus leaf she brought me, but I asked her to get me a slightly bigger one. Um, and you can see this one, this one's called strawberry drop. It has a little bit of red in the center. And that one's pretty cool. I don't know what this one's called. We'll have to look up its name, but it's, this is a coleus and a peace lily. Now, I want to talk to you about the different parts of the leaves, and I want you to be able to see the leaves larger while I'm talking about it. So I'm going to switch our view so you can see the pictures there. Okay, so the leaves are really fascinating. They're made up of lots of little parts, like bricks of a building, and we call those bricks cells. It's in these cells that the plant makes its food, and it's because of these cells that the leaves need the sunlight. So See these veins? It might be hard to see them on that side. I'll turn it over. Do you see the veins that are stretching through the leaves? They help to expand or spread out the leaf so that all the cells can reach the sun. They are hollow like a tube or a straw so that the water is carried into the leaf. Once the food is made, they're used to carry the food out to the rest of the plant. And we saw that in our chart of the, um, the food factory chart, that it was the elevator that took the water, water to the leaf and the food from the leaf. The veins are where those elevators are on the plant. So when you look at a leaf, everything, oh, sorry, I didn't put out the vein. Vein. So the veins are all of those lines we see where they're hollow tubes that transport water and food. When you look at a leaf, everything that isn't a vein, it's kind of easier to see this way, everything that isn't a vein, the space between the veins is called the blade. Everything that's not a vein is part of the blade, and we also can call it the lamina. Everything between the veins, all the space that's not a vein is called lamina, and that's where, oh, sorry, it's not right on there, lamina, that's where the food is made. That's where the cells that make food are, the lamina. The cells that transport the food are the, in the veins. Now there's one more part I want to talk to you about. This part, I'm gonna move these up so you can see a little better. When we look at these two leaves, we can see this little bit of stem is still attached. The stem, where the stem connects to the plant is called the petiole. And the petiole, petiole means little foot. It's the little foot where the leaves are connected to the plant. So I'm gonna come back to the view so you can see us too. Um, I hope that you were able to see it a little more clearly zoomed in. It's kind of hard to see with the shine on this leaf. Maybe we should have picked a dirtier leaf, a less beautiful leaf. No, never. So we can see the, the veins. The veins are the way that the plant transports its water and its food. And all the space between the veins is the lamina. And the lamina is where the cells are that make the food. 
The lamina is where the food is made and the veins transport the food to the rest of the plant. And the petiole is where the stem extends from the leaf and attaches to the stem, the main stem. <laughs> It is the stem. The petiole is the stem as it connects to the main branch of the tree. Um, petiole means little foot. It's like when they come together, it's a little foot. Okay, I hope that you learned something new about the parts of the leaf. We're going to talk so much more about the veins of a leaf and how leaves are classified based on their leaf or their vein structure within the leaf. And maybe you've already made some observations about how different these two leaves are from each other. And we're going to talk about what those what those types of vein patterns are called and how we classify leaves. But those are stories for another day. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. We'll see you next time.